Hey, my YouTube friends. Let's speak today a minute, just a minute about Christopher Watson. It's been quite a while since I've spoke about Chris Watson on the channel, but I find this very interesting. So it's the state of Colorado versus Chris Watson's fa um, Facebook page. And it was three days ago, a woman working alongside Chris Watts' family slaps podcast host Jay is for Justice with a $1 million defamation suit. And it goes on to read a woman claiming she worked alongside convicted killer Chris Watts' family to help find an attorney to represent him has filed a lawsuit against the podcaster for defamation. According to the court documents obtained by front page detectives, Lana Oriani slapped Jennifer Rich Youngblood, co-host of the true crime podcast, Jay is for Justice, with a suit in Ohio. Oriani claimed while working with Chris's family, she went on Youngblood's radio show to talk about the case. She claimed the two became colleagues and agreed to travel to Denver, Colorado together to meet and chat with Watts' family. Oriani stated that friendship immediately turned sour and Youngblood viewed the trip more as a, quote, vacation, end quote, rather than a work trip and flaked on several meetings. Oriani alleged Youngblood swore to the Watts family she would not speak about the efforts to get the murderer out of jail or release any footage of their meetings. Youngblood did agree to promote Oriani's nonprofit she was using to raise money for Chris's attorney on the show, though. After the relationship ended, Cindy Watts, Chris's mom, told Oriani she messed up, and Youngblood most likely recorded her and another person. Cindy, in return, feared what retaliation their family would experience if she quit communicated with the, communicating with the podcast host. On March 2021, Youngblood allegedly started to make statements on social media about Oriani's nonprofit, and she urged people not to give money and questioned efforts on truly trying to help Chris. The suit stated that Youngblood claimed Oriani was running a fake website and scammed the Watts family out of hundreds of thousands of dollars. The suit alleged Youngblood even created fake social media accounts to smear Oriani's name and nonprofit. Oriani is claiming the defamation... Ah, sorry guys. <laughs> the defamation remarks have harmed her reputation and she is seeking a $1 million or she's seeking $1 million in damages. Chris murdered his pregnant wife, Shanann, and their two daughters, Bella, four, and Celeste, three, at their Colorado home back in 2018. But let me know what you guys think about this lawsuit that I'm sure most of you following the Christopher Watts case are aware that the um, Orion, or Lena, Lana, I'm not sure which it is, but... I'm, I'm certain many of you are aware of her. She had a channel, and she went on several channels and spoke about her efforts. But let me know what you guys think. And as always, thank you all for watching.